Successful slay. That's me. What's up, man? Hi. International stacker, and you caught the king crab. <laughs> Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. All right, man. Well, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, just enjoying the morning in Portland. So I got to ask you a question and I ask this to everybody. Do I look like what you expected? Yes. I do. Okay. <laughs> Usually I get no. Usually people are like, oh, I didn't, you know, nothing what I expected. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been a subscriber? There's no right answer, by the way. You could be 15 minutes or 50 years, right? Uh, how long have you been a subscriber? And I think you have a YouTube channel as well, right? I do have a YouTube <laughs> channel, Successful Slave. Uh, I've been a subscriber to you for almost two years now. Okay. Uh, yes. So probably like the tail end of the pandemic, huh? Yeah. Nice, nice. And um, when did you start getting into gold and silver? Well, the first... Uh, piece of silver I got was for my dad and I was 12. Okay. But I didn't really get back into it again until after seeing the craziness of 08, 09. Yeah. And um, I didn't, I wasn't able to afford it until probably about seven years ago. Okay. So I've been actively stacking for about seven years. So you got, so you had a little introduction when you were 12 and then about 08 or 09, it got your attention again. And then really for the last seven years, you've been really getting into it. Yes. And what got you into the YouTube world? Did you get in as soon as you started stacking, you searched it or is it more recent or how did you figure that out? Oh no, I was, um, I cruise YouTube a lot and watch weird videos. Yep. And I watched a video from LJ Silver Ostier Privateer okay. that he won silver. I was oh. like, this can't be, no one just gives away silver. So I found a whole bunch of YouTube channels like Mad Stacker and, and Pirate and um, Yankee. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was just like, I'm just going to try it. And I started winning. I started winning big. Nice. In fact, my biggest win was five ounces from Mill Stacks. Did you ever make it to one of my Mega Guys? I have not, but I have All watched right, a part of it. It's coming. <laughs> I've done I did probably five or six Mega Guys, and I'm going to do another one here in the near kind of near future but like i give away kilos man kilo <laughs> bars bro kilos and i was doing that before it was cool but yeah if you're watching a ga g-a-w stands for giveaway and if you're new to stacking or um if you want to stack more silver but you can't afford it subscribe to a lot of these channels turn on the notifications because there's all kinds of giveaways that happen all the time and even me like i won giveaways and i was hanging out with silver dragons yesterday and um he was actually watching my channel before he had a channel and then he launched his channel and then i won his first giveaway which was an american silver eagle tone one and then i actually took it with me and made a video putting it in the great pyramid of giza in egypt saying like i was charging the the dragon you know what i mean yeah. but long story short is there's ways to stack even more silver even if you've reached the top end of your budget right yeah Mega, 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 mega. Cool. So, um, what's the biggest one you won? You said four ounces. Was it like five ounces? Was it a bar? Was it rounds? What was it? Oh, it was um, it was a one ounce round that Millstacks poured. Oh, cool. So I have one of his first pours. That's cool. And then I got a, a whole bunch of Canadian silver. Like, I, um, got a few dollars. Okay, so they're junk silver ounce. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. But I collect a bunch of Canadian silver. <laughs> so. I bought some yesterday at spot price in one of those LCSs right? here. Yeah. The junk silver around here always goes for spot, and I love it. Oh, does it? I yeah. didn't realize that. Cool. Yeah, um, there's only a few places that will do over spot for uh, the foreign junk silver. There's always a premium on American junk silver, but the foreign junk silver is usually spot. And, you know, that was my secret that I had for a long time that I share with a lot of viewers is I would just go into LCSs and I'd be like, hey, uh, you have any, uh, you know, foreign silver that you're just going to send to the refiner, get rid of? I'll buy it from you at spot. And nine times out of 10, they go, sure. And I found all kinds of good coins in those that ended up being higher premium. It's been crazy, you know? It's been yeah. such a good opportunity. I actually uh, started doing that because I watched um, one of your videos, I think, that... As an LCS getting good deals? Mm -hmm. Yep. So what do you wish, obviously you've been doing this a while, what do you wish, what do you know now 
that you wish you knew when you started stacking so maybe someone new could get a little bit of advice and do better than we did starting out just have the uh the bravery to ask what's in the back because sometimes they they hide the things that they <clears throat> they're gonna go to scrap in the back and then you said you know what foreign silver do you have in the back yep and you can get a cheaper deal on that and you can stack more you know that's a good point because i think a lot of people are kind of intimidated especially when they first start going into lcs's and stuff and one way to do that folks is you can say to them and this isn't lying if you phrase it right you could say to them hey i'm looking into maybe start pouring silver and stuff do you have any crap or crap do you have any scrap silver that you're going to send to get refined and then they might bring out 925 metals from uh franklin mint i've had that happen they might bring out some like old 999 rounds that are all scarred up i've gotten that before um, one time, uh, LCS said, yeah, and he brought out a sack of 300 um, maple leaves. Oh, wow. And um, uh, yeah, I have a video on this called The Lost Maple Leaf Hoard. And what happened is a metal detectorist in Arizona found them buried underground, sold them to this LCS here in California, uh, or here. We're actually in Portland, Oregon. I didn't say that, but I was just in California, brought into LCS in California, and they were all like, dirty and gross or whatever so he sold them to me for spot so i bought 300 maples for spot and then i washed them all off and stuff and half of them were like crazy toned like some of the coolest stuff so moral of the story just like successful slave over here said don't be afraid to ask what's in the back and again you can oftentimes get foreign junk silver for spot or a little above it's worth it both ways and oftentimes you can get messed up 999 or other uh, foreign bullion for good deals if it's been like quote unquote messed up, right? Yes. That's awesome. Very scratched up. I got a lot of toned yep. uh, ounces from the back because they didn't want to put them in the front. There you go. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure and a lot of people don't know how popular toned silver can be. So what's on your channel? What do you do? I uh, showcase what I win. <clears throat> and uh, I've been recently doing, um, looking through my laundry quarters. I haven't found any yet. <laughs> oh, for doing laundry, <laughs> looking for silver quarters? Yeah, I do coin laundry. So <clears throat> you, you go to the bank, you get a few rolls, look through them. But lately I've just been getting very new rolls. You know, I do coin roll hunt from time to time. But what I do, my secret is I just go in the bank and go to the tellers. You go, hey, do you have any 50 cent pieces that you don't want? And if they ask me what I'm doing with them, I just go, oh, me and my friends like to play poker with it. Yeah, because I don't want them to know I'm like searching silver. And I find half times if you get the loose 50 cent pieces from the teller's drawers uh, or rolls from their drawers, oftentimes that's your best chance of being silver. And if one gives me one, I'll be like, oh, do your colleagues have any I can buy as well? I mean, I just did that like a month ago and found silver. It was epic. And if I'm in coin roll hunting or doing that, I only do 50 cent pieces because I feel like it's worth your time more because there's a lot more silver in that than maybe like a dime. You know, some people do it with dimes, some people do it with quarters, etc. Uh, what do you think? Of, what do you think about that? Have you ever done it with 50 cent pieces? I have. I did one summer where I bought 10 boxes throughout the three months, and I, it was a wash. I did not find any. <laughs> but see, I feel like. You know, it just depends on the bank and where you're at. Cause I feel like a lot of those boxes are going to be like newer stuff. Again, dude, my success. I one time asked us teller, she brought me out like four rolls and handwritten on them were dates. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And the rolls looked old, you know, it didn't look new. Dude, one of them, all silver. Oh, wow. It was my like first time with the major find. I was like a newer stacker at the time. My hands started shaking. I'm like, oh my gosh. And of course, a bunch of people online were like, that's fake. You made that roll, blah, blah, blah. But dude, it was totally real. And I was like, oh man, that's so cool. So how many subscribers do you have currently? I'm currently hovering around 180. Woo, maybe we get you 200 folks. Check him out, sub him up. Well, man, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. And looks like uh, you're adding to another one of your winnings there. There's yep. only 50 of those in the world in order to get one you have to catch me in the wild so um that's actually the last one i have in my possession on this trip and i'm meeting someone else at the airport today so i'm gonna have to <laughs> mail them one i'm gonna have to mail them one in the mail but congratulations on winning that i love the skull thank you that's not silver is it oh it's silver Woo, 925 or what yep that's awesome cool man well that's really cool well is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we log off enjoy 
this hobby. It's going to stay around for a long time because I don't think the government's going <laughs> to come around and start taking it yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to check out your channel. Let's check out his channel. Sub him up. Uh, are you going to catch the king crab? Are you going to win one of these? Well, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications because you never know when I'm going to be in your backyard. He literally saw, messaged me a day or two ago, and you see with the result, he caught the king crab. All right, I was about to end the it video, guys, and he pulled out this mysterious uh, black pouch out of his uh, pocket. What do you got here? Got you one of my stickers. Oh. Got you number one. Nice. <laughs> and then I want to show off mill stacks poor. Oh, so this is the one you won. Five ounce win. Nice, man. That's Good. cool. This here's the my first piece I ever got. That was from my dad when I was 12. Oh, so you actually had the piece. Oh, it's a silver trade unit. I love this. That's very cool, man. I kept it all these years. That's very cool. And then got you a gift. <clears throat> I always like to give people 10 cents. Nice, <laughs> dude. Filipinas. Philippines. I love these. And you know what I really like about them? And folks, on the back there, that looks kind of American, doesn't it? Well, that's because we were minting their coinage for them. This is very cool. 1938, thank you, my friend. You're welcome. If, you know, if I'm gonna get a dime, besides a mercury dime, I think this would be one of my favorites. So good job figuring me out. <laughs> cool, man, well, thanks for the sticker. Thanks for the gifts. Enjoy it. That's very cool you had that first piece from your dad still. That's very <laughs> cool. All right, so uh, I guess we're just gonna end this video here. What do we say? Catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one, woo! One stacker on a journey.